Working with Paul has been really easy, and he's just brilliant at improvising as well. He's kind of fearless. When you have someone like that in a scene, you never really know what's going to happen. And he can say something that doesn't even make sense, but he's not scared to do that. Come on, Wink. Why are you looking at me like a stranger? Or is? To work on a Disney project has been a dream of mine, yeah. Really? Um, so it's back to the beginning. Yeah, the wind's turned over. That's why like I literally wanted to see how long it would take for you guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. He's a method actor. You know, he moved to a town in Brixton, right? This guy's like really Go committed. Be. Oh, top of the morning to you, Missy. Got some fashion items, the most fashionable. Thank you, kind and handsome delivery man. <laughs> the delightful thing with Paul, as an actor, he's so spontaneous, you never know what we're gonna get. And I think it keeps everybody on their toes and it keeps the scenes alive. I always found everything we were doing with him exciting. Oh, hey uh, guys, what's going on? Is it still there? Kind of impressive. It was worth a try. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he created that accent. <laughs> Could you give me a hand? Play your boys. So that accent, I grew up watching Bob Hoskins and Hook. He's Peter Pan, all right. He's just been gone from Neverland so long, he's forgotten everything. And I just remember that as a kid, it's ingrained in my memory. So when I went to our uh, dialect coach, I did that line, he goes, oh yeah, we're gonna be fine. You get it, you get it. Just do Hoskins. Well, that changes things, doesn't it? It does explain a lot.